coach in here from my own experience. I, uh, a little quick story to tell you. So literally just a couple days ago, I finished a run and I could feel my knee tightening up in certain ways. When I finished the run, I could barely bend my knee. I could barely squat. This really hurt. I couldn't do this at all. Lunging was terrible. It was just super sharp pain. And I was panicked because I was like, man, I'm supposed to race 15 miles gnarly on the trails this weekend. But I was able to implement this strategy, which I'm gonna show you in today's video, and was able to resolve that knee pain just like that. Now, knee pain is fine, no problem. It's not stretching, it's not foam rolling, it's something else. So let's get into it. First, a quick word on the stretching and mobility part. Super important for restoring range of motion, making sure you have really good mechanics and for getting blood flow to your body. This is the stuff you should be doing kind of all the time. But there are moments like this one where it's just not enough. We gotta go a little bit bigger. Quick second thing, I'm a run coach, strength coach, and movement coach. I'm not a doctor. I don't pretend to play one on the internet. So if you are super concerned about your knee, it's bothering you, go see someone. It always makes sense to get a professional opinion. That said, the strategy I'm sharing is 100% safe and promoted by these very same doctors and physical therapists on things we can do to treat our own bodies. Now this is where we need to talk about different types of tension and knots in the body. Sometimes muscles get a little tight from like the run I just did. So a little bit of light stretching and movement and some gentle mobility or even a little time with a percussion gun. It's gonna get a little blood flow in there. It's just gonna help those muscles relax and ease, restore range of motion. But sometimes, like I was in the case with my quads, I've noticed that I've been foam rolling them a lot, but nothing's really been working. I still had this big giant knot in the quad that just wouldn't release. So this made me think, of Christine Koth's book on tight hip twisted core where she talks deeply about trigger points and how there are certain areas of the body, she's a physical therapist by the way, we'll link to the book down below, and basically says that look, there are some areas of the body that don't respond to that level of agitation, they actually tighten up more. So the way you solve them is by getting strong, steady pressure on that area. This is exactly what I did. If you don't have someone to work on you just to kind of hold their hands in that area for 16 to 90 seconds or a little bit longer, you could lie static on a foam roller. For me, I have a kettlebell, which I really like, and I just like find those spots. I just try to breathe and relax and just try to get a better sense of this muscle melting away. And hopefully after about 90 seconds, you'll start to see it release. Now, specifically, you'll know you hit the pay dirt when you're getting to a chunk of your muscle that feels like junky, that feels clumped together, that feels just knotted up. It's almost like I could slide this kettlebell and the whole muscle boonk, boonk, slides from one side and you might feel a little bit more pressure and pain on that spot. If the muscle's healthy, it should feel pretty supple and smooth and pliable, which is what we wanna get it to. So if we can get it more into that direction, it's good. Now, a couple more notes, especially around knee pain. There are times where, as I said, if it's chronic, maybe you've been dealing with something for a long time, it could be in the joint itself. 85, 90% of the time, it's something that is muscle that's pulling on tendon that's pulling on the knee. So I specifically like to word on um, just the rec fem, the major part of the quad. I always get knotted up here. I like to work on this vastus medialis and even our adductors because these guys get tight, especially when we're a little unstable as runners. So even bringing my leg over here, it's spending a little bit of time on this part of the quad is just so crucial for whoo, finding another tight spot, getting that to release. And again, a lot of mobility we do, it's constant motion back and forth. This, I'm just breathing and I'm just trying to get it to relax. And when it does, oh man, that knee pain goes away just like that. Remember, if you don't have a heavy kettlebell-like object at home, use a foam roller like I'm doing right here. Just don't move back and forth, find a spot, breathe, relax into it, use a lacrosse ball. Heck, use a coffee mug or a wine bottle, whatever you can add a little bit of pressure to. The next thing you need to do is get into our injured runner program in 
the Daily Run app because we go step by step, not only on how to do strategies like this for your knee pain, but also to work on some of the strength and mobility and stability pieces around that to get that full picture work. And if you want a little preview of what that type of work is in the Engine Runner program, check out this video playing over my shoulder. I go through five different ways to attack runner's knee from a pretty all-encompassing viewpoint. So go ahead and check that out. Keep earning your miles. Keep working on those knees. Wish me luck in my race tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the next video.